Hi guys, my name is Amber and for today's video I wanted to do a bookshelf tour. So I last minute decided to do this because I am getting my room painted and I'm getting the floors like I'm getting rid of the carpet and we're doing tile and all of that and so I need to take down my bookshelf and take down all of the books and everything. So I thought I'd film um, what it looked like um, before, maybe who knows next time whenever I have to put up all my books. I don't know if like I'll do it differently, but right now I wanted to film a video just to remember how it looks now at least before I, you know, take it all down. And yeah, let's get straight into the video. Before the video begins, I just wanted to show a little overview of my bookshelf. Um, and it's in rainbow order and then I have this shelf with like some darker fantasy and then my Harry Potter and then more darker colored fantasy and then just random stuff at the bottom. And then on the side I have my little cart. All right, so starting with the top shelf, I just have this fake plant here from Target and then I have my Polaroid. Now getting into the books, the first book we have is To All the Boys I've Loved Before by Jenny Han. Always and Forever, Laura Jean by Jenny Han. Um, I used to have the second book, but I didn't like it as much as the first and the third one. So I just got rid of the second one because I didn't like it. A Very Large Expanse of Sea by Tahata Mafi. Neverworld Wake by Marisha Pestle. The Secret History by Donna Tartt. Stay Sweet by Sibahan Vivian. I have no idea if I said that right. Sorry if I pronounced it wrong. American Royals by Catherine McGee. The Knife of Never Letting Go by Patrick Ness. The Afterlife of Holly Chase by Cynthia Hand. Wind Witch by Susan Dennard. Nocturna by Maya Matane. Crown of Feathers by Nikki Pa Preto. Daisy Jones in the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid. With the Fire on High by Elizabeth Acevedo. Anne of Avonlea by L.M. Montgomery. The Illuminate Files by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. Lola and the Boy Next Door by Stephanie Perkins. Alex and Eliza by Melissa De La Cruz. The Sun is Also a Star by Nigel Yoon. And Emergency Contact by Mary H.K. Choi. Next shelf, right below the red and white pinkish one, um, we have this one, which is like yellow, green, and blue. And the only little knickknack thing I have is this picture of me and my siblings with my grandma when we visited her. Um, yeah, and it like has little sparkles or whatever. And yeah, it's a really cute Polaroid. Then getting into the books, Girl Online Going Solo by Zoe Sugg. Carry On by Rainbow Rowell. Wayward Sun by Rainbow Rowell. Sorry if I have it angled weird, but it's like super glossy so that it was like glaring, but Permanent Record by Mary H.K. Choi. Summer Days and Summer Nights, 12 Love Stories, edited by Stephanie Perkins, and then it's written by all of those authors. Wilder Girls by Rory Power. Salt to the Sea by Ruta Sepetis. Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Madsen. Little Woman by Louisa May Alcott. The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. The Forgotten Book by Metch Thiel Glazer. Hopefully I pronounced that right. The Darkest Part of the Forest by Holly Black. A Curse So Dark and Lonely by Bridget Kemmer. To Kill a Kingdom by Alexandra Cristo. The Guinevere Deception by Kirsten White. Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson. The Love Letters of Abelard and Lily by Laura Creedle. I Am Not Your Perfect Mexican Daughter by Erica L. Sanchez. And Again But Better by Christine Riccio. Then on my third shelf, I just have this little plant that I don't know where I got from, but it's also fake. And then in that corner, I have this little glass jar thing where I just have um, some of my annotating supplies and then just a bunch of bookmarks that I've received. Then getting straight into the books, our first book is An Absolutely Remarkable Thing by Hank Green, Gemina by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff, Things in Jars by Jess Kidd, My True Love Gave to Me, 12 Holiday Stories, edited by Stephanie Perkins, and all the stories are written by all of those authors, Tess of the Road by Rachel Hartman, Anne of the Island by L.M. Montgomery, Anne of Green Gables by L.M. Montgomery, Shadow and Bone by Lee Bardugo, Obsidio by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff, Witchwood by Tahada Mafi, Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard, The Library of Legends by Janie Chung, Anna Kay, A Love Story by Jenny Lee, The Wicked Fox by Kat Cho, Girl Online on Tour by Zoe Sugg, Serious Moonlight by Jen Bennett, Furthermore by Tahada Mafi, Skyward by Brandon Sanderson, and Starry Eyes by Jen Bennett. And now we are at my fourth shelf, um, which 
contains a lot of my Harry Potter books and then just darker books that didn't match with the rainbow up there. First we have Six of Crows by Glee Bardugo, Crooked Kingdom by Glee Bardugo, Children of Blood and Bone by Tomi Adeyemi, Children of Virtue and Vengeance by Tomi Adeyemi, An Enchantment of Ravens by Margaret Rogerson, Sorcery of Thorns by Margaret Rogerson, Never Night and God's Grave by Jay Kristoff, This Savage Song and Our Dark Duet by Victoria Schwab, and then I forgot to mention I just have this little fake potted plant. Um, yeah, on top of it. <laughs> then pulling from up here, I have Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone in the Bloomsbury edition, and then Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone in the Hufflepuff edition. And it has sprayed edges. And in my last video, I talked about how I got these new dust jackets um, from a website called Nerdy Ink. But sadly, I was going to link them in the description box, but they're sold out and I don't think they're going to sell them again anytime soon. Um, so yeah, sorry if you were interested in getting them. But yeah, they just recently sold out. But starting off with the first book, we have Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, and Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, all by J.K. Rowling. Then on this shelf, we also have more, like, darker, um, covered books because they didn't really match with my rainbow. Um... And then I have this cute little, I think it's a raccoon. I don't really know what animal this is, but um, some kind of animal with the fake, another fake plant because we love fake pants in this house. Um, and I have a bunch of these random leaves around. Um, they're all fake as well. Then starting off with the first book, we have The Night Circus by Aaron Morgenstern, Ninth House by Lee Bardugo. Then I have The Cruel Prince series by Holly Black. So The Cruel Prince, The Wicked King, and The Queen of Nothing. There Will Come a Darkness by Katie Rose Poole. We Hunt the Flame by Hafsa Faisal. An Ember in the Ashes by Saba Tahir. The Chronicles of Narnia by C.S. Lewis. And I think there's only seven books in the series and all seven are in this book. A River of Royal Blood by Amanda Joy. Onyx and Ivory by Mindy Arnett. Serpent and Dove by Shelby Mahurin. The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins. The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak. The Diviners by Leba Bray. The Haunting of Hill House by Shirley Jackson, I think. Then I have the first two books in the Mortal Instruments series, City of Bones and City of Ashes by Cassandra Clare. Then I have the first two books in the Infernal Devices series, so we have Clockwork Angel and Clockwork Prince. And lastly on the shelf, I have the first book in the Dark Artifices series, um, which is Lady Midnight by Cassandra Clare. Then finally on the last bottom shelf, I have like a random arrangement of things. These are just new books that I got that like I didn't, that just didn't fit up there. And then um, my Bible, just Christian books, journals, um, dictionary, like just random things. So let's just get like into detail. So the first two books ha I have here are graphic novels by Katie O'Neill. And I'm kind of having to hold them up. Sorry if it's like shaking. Um, the Tea Dragon Society and the Tea Dragon Festival. And then I randomly have this illustrated edition of this book, uh, Greek Gods. I don't even know which number it is in the series or what. I don't know. But my dad, he randomly had this and I was like, where'd you get this from? And he just said some guy gave it to him. So I thought it was worth keeping just in case if, um, I'm ever interested in this series. Um, which now that I'm saying that, I feel like I should just get rid of it. Then I have my yearbook and then just a bunch of random things. Then over here we have The Wicked Deep by Shay Earnshaw. Also on top of my books, I randomly have this game of what do you mean? <laughs> Scythe by Neil Schusterman. Then I have these four books in the Shatter Me series, all by Tahara Mafi. So we have Shatter Me, Unravel Me, Ignite Me, and then these two novellas, um, Destroy Me and fracture me and lastly on my bookshelf i have the modern fairy tales by holly black then right next to my bookshelf i just have a little tbr cart um which isn't really specifically with just tbr books i just thought these books would look cute in this corner so on this first shelf thing i really just have a bunch of random stuff and i have my kindle um which is book related i guess and then i have this um light for like reading at night 
Then on the second shelf, we actually have books. So the first book we have, A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab, Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell, Prince Charming by Rachel Hawkins, and Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins. And then I just have this random print thing that I thought was cute that I put there. And if this is the final and last area I have, um, which is the third tier thing on this shelf. So starting off with this thing, I just have a random thing with another fake plant, huh? What do you know? And getting into the first book, we have The Inexplicable no Logic of My Life by Benjamin Alir Sainz. Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe by Benjamin Alir Sainz. Truth Witch by Susan Dennard. And lastly, Cinder by Marissa Meyer. And then in this corner, I just have snacks um, to eat whenever I'm hungry, obviously, because um, this is this book card is like right next to my bed, so I always reach for those. All right, and so now we're at the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed um, seeing my bookshelf and my little TBR cart and seeing all the books that I have. And thank you so much for watching. And so I need you to like if you'd like um subscribe put on the notification bell if you want to receive notifications about whenever i post and comment down below this emoji yes if you've gotten to the end of this video and again thank you so much for watching and bye